Today, we're very proud to have Derek Johnson, the president and CEO of the NAACP with us uh, to be a part of this video blog that we're doing for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Today's conversation is in support of Black History Month. You know, at InfoBlocks, we are committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion, which is born out of our core value of respect for others. And our diversity, equity, and inclusion statement is where I belong. Now, our Black Employee Resource Group, BE at IB, will be hosting a series of activities this month for Black History Month in support of this work we're doing as well. So again, what does Black History Month mean to you, I wonder, today? What, is it, what does it mean through your eyes, through your, through your lens? Black History Month was created as a way for us to recognize our excellence, our contributions, our ability to continue to push forward despite the adversities uh, confronting us. Uh, Cottage G. Woodson, uh, as you know, was a good Omega man. So he understood the the, the, the importance of brotherhood. Uh, and that's something that we all should strive to, to connect with our neighbors and, and build on brotherhood or sisterhood or just strong communities, uh, despite uh, uh, what community you come from. 2020 was a difficult year by all of that, by all expectations, by all imaginations. You know, we were in the midst of a global pandemic, racial unrest, and certainly an economic crisis. And as you said, the NAACP is an advocacy organization and at, at its core, it has also been there on behalf of people. Uh, how about sharing some of the things that the NAACP has done uh, in 2020 to help address these issues primarily around COVID-19 and some of the economic issues that disproportionately, of course, would affect black communities and underserved communities? As companies began to shut down as a result of the quarantine, uh, we found many African Americans uh, uh, on the front line as critical work workers and being impact at a disproportional rate compared to our population. But as a result of the underlying issues, also impacted negatively with the high death tolls. While at the exact same time, we began to look at the economic harm calling corporations to task to make sure that workers were protected uh, in, in this process. And we didn't know whether or not uh, it was gonna last for 30 days or six months. And here we are approaching a year later and we're still in this same holding pattern. Uh, the next part of 2020, which, which was significant, was the unfortunate death of Ahmaud Arbery, followed by George Floyd, followed by Breonna Taylor, and the explosion of individuals taken to the street protesting for justice. And what was the beautiful thing about those protests, they were both peaceful and it looked like America. It was young people and old people, it was black, it was white, uh, all with the rallying cry around a factual statement, Black Lives Matter. That factual statement is important because that has truly been the struggle of black folks in this country uh, since we were brought here. In fact, it was a, the baseline of that factual statement is why the NAACP was created. I wonder what words of encouragement can you give to, in particular, this Black History Month or Black employees and, and indeed all the employees about you know, the, 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 the work ahead uh, and, and what they can do to help advance diversity, equity, inclusion? Recognizing that we all have gifts to give. Uh, and the more we give, the more we receive. Uh, at the end of the day, our society is, will be as, as strong as the contributions we, we invest in. It. And, and, and if we only take from it and not invest, it depletes the potential of the future. And so whether you're in the corporate setting or, or governmental setting or in philanthropy or nonprofits, however you are positioned, uh, we all have contributions to, to make. For the NAACP, we truly appreciate those who join the ranks of our volunteers who are the eyes and ears on the ground in corporate uh, settings, uh, in governmental settings, to ensure equal protection under the law is afforded to everyone. The access to opportunities is something that we should not take for granted, but something that we should expand. Uh, but for someone in many of our lives, we wouldn't be sitting in the seat that we're sitting in. And so the real question is, are we paying it forward to project out who will be the people who will sit in special seats, like the seats that we're sitting in, and they can say, 
I'm here because of, and you point yourself, uh, point your finger to yourself because of that person there. As we close, I want to say thank you, Mr. Johnson, on behalf of our president and CEO, Jesper Anderson, who leads InfoBlocks Worldwide. And we are grateful that you've given us uh, your time and shared some really great nuggets and insights about the significance of Black History Month and about so many contributions that Black America has made to the greatness of this country and indeed about the work that's going on with the NAACP. You can count on InfoBlocks as a partner, as a friend, as someone that will be with you in your journey. And we look forward to working together in the months and years to come.